Yo what's going on guys Tanmayar for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on page replacement algorithms and in this video tutorial we are going to be taking a look at the least frequently used page replacement algorithm now we've already discussed what is page replacement and three different page replacement algorithms that is fifo optimal and lru in the previous video tutorials of this playlist if you have missed that i will link the entire playlist which you can see on the top right corner in the form of card or in the information tab but with that being said let's start off with today's algorithm which is least frequently used page replacement algorithm now before we start off with the numerical a quick theory about lfu so in this lfu page replacement algorithm that is least frequently used page replacement algorithm the page with the minimum count or frequency is selected for replacement with the page that needs to enter into the system so here the keyword count or frequency is more important and what we are going to be focusing on is how many number of times is a page repeated so less the number of times the page is repeated the higher is the chance that it is going to be replaced that's the logic that we are going to apply so to implement that logic a counter is assigned to every page that is loaded into memory so as and when the page repeats itself the counter is incremented or decremented okay so that's the main crux of least frequently used page replacement algorithm do not confuse it with lru that is least recently used in that we look in the past and see which one is the least recently used and replace that but in least frequently used we calculate the frequency or count of particular page and see that which page has repeated the least amount of times and replace that okay now lfu algorithm in general is not directly used it is sometimes combined with lru or some other combination of different algorithms when it comes to actual implementation so now let's solve a numerical and you'll understand exactly how the least frequently used page replacement algorithm works okay so let me just quickly read out the question let us consider page reference string 7012030423032 we have three page slots calculate the number of page faults page fault probability and page fault percentage using lfu algorithm so things that are given to us are we know that the page slots in memory are three so in memory we have frame f1 f2 and f3 this is what is depicted in this diagram and the reference string is basically the number of pages that are coming in in this order starting from left to right so 7 comes first then comes 0 then comes 1 and so on and so forth so these are basically just page numbers okay so you can consider them as names of pages so it can also be in alphabets it can be a b c and so on and so forth right now it is numbers but it can also be in alphabets or some other denotations so these are the two things given we have to find out number of page faults then we can easily calculate page fault probability we can also calculate page fault percentage okay once we get the number of page faults so let's start off applying this lfu algorithm and as you can see in the diagram what i've done is i've drawn the three different page slots and for every iteration that is for every page coming in i have noted those page numbers on each of those iterations okay below over here as you can see we are maintaining the frequency of page 0 1 2 3 4 and 7 so these are the unique page numbers which you can see over here we don't have any more values we don't have 8 9 and 10 we only have these page numbers right so what we will do is whenever that page comes into the memory or whenever that comes into the page slots we will increment their frequency to 1 so right now you can see we it doesn't have any values it is basically null or zero but as soon as a new value or a new page comes in we will increment that count of that particular page and we'll keep a track of it okay so let's start off with the first one that is 7 so for the first time that is first round you can see all the three page slots are empty which means that this is a page fault right so i'll denote page fault with a red mark a red cross and for the first time 7 page 7 is loaded into the memory or frame or page slot you can see okay for the second time 7 is already going to be there in memory but 0 is coming in we do not have 0 already in the frames we only have 7 right so again this is a page fault so i'm going to mark x and write 0 for the third time 1 is coming in we know that 7 and 0 are already there we don't have page number 1 so again this is also a page fault the first two pages are already there 7 0 and then i'm going to make a entry of 1 now in these first three steps we had page faults but don't forget that we also have to increment their respective frequencies so right now 701 came in for the first time right so the frequency of 7 will be 1 so i'll write 1 over here frequency of 0 is 1 i'm going to write 1 over here and frequency of page 1 is also 1 so i'm going to write 1 over here okay now coming to the fourth step 
page number two is supposed to be loaded into the memory because it is requested. So these are basically the page requests. So we are over here. Now you can see our pages are already inserted in all the slots. So all the slots are full. So one page has to be removed. So basically it is a page fault situation only. Now we have to check for their frequencies. Now looking at these frequencies, we know that every frequency is same. That is one. So zero is coming only one time. Page number one has also come one time and page number seven has also come one time. Now in that case, we have to use the FIFO methodology. Okay. That is first in first out, which means whichever page came first has to be removed and replaced. So if you start from the left to right, seven was the page that came very first, right? So this time we have to remove seven and instead of seven, we have to write two. The rest of the zero and one are going to be as it is. Now, when we do this, remember that we have to make the frequency of seven as zero again. So we have to reset the frequency. Okay. So I'm going to make this zero. And one more thing that you have to do is now you cannot use this seven into consideration when it comes to frequency. So if in case seven repeats somewhere ahead in time, you cannot consider this one as a count because we just reset the value, right? So what I'll do is I'll mark an X over here because we cannot consider this into the frequency count next time when seven comes into picture. Okay. So these are the steps that you have to apply. So let's move ahead and you'll understand even better. Now the next page that is requested is zero. So we are over here now. Now if you see zero is already there in the pages. So this is not going to be a page fault situation. So I'm going to write a tick mark over here. Now since zero is repeated one more time over here. I'm first actually going to write all the pages as it is. That is two, zero and one. Okay. But since zero is repeated one more time. Now the frequency of zero is going to be incremented by one. So currently the frequency is one. We have to make it two. So I'm going to write two over here. Okay. So this is how you maintain a count of the repeated pages. And when they get removed, you reset the frequencies. Okay. Let's move ahead. Let's go to this iteration where page three is requested. Now in the pages, we know we have two, zero and one. We don't have three. So one of the page has to be removed, right? So now again, we have to check for the frequencies. So if you see zero's frequency is two. Now two is greater than one's frequency. So we have page two. So two's frequency is actually one over here. We have to write one. I forgot to write that. Okay. So we have to actually make a selection of which page to remove between two, zero and one. So these are the three pages that we are looking at. Now you have to see the frequencies of the three individual pages. You can see that clearly the frequency of page zero is two. So we cannot remove that. It has a higher frequency, right? So now we are left out with page one and page two because both of them have same frequency, which is one. So in these two, again, we have to apply the rule of FIFO that is first in first out. So comparing page one and two, you can see that page one came before page two, right? If you see from left to right, one came over here and it is in memory since then and later two came. So according to the FIFO rule, we have to remove one. Okay. So let's remove one. So we have to remove this one and add three over here. Two and zero are going to be as it is. This is going to be a page fault. And now the one's frequency is going to be reset. Okay. So we have to make it zero. So I'm going to make zero over here. Three just came into the memory. So the frequency is incremented to one and we will mark an X on one. So this doesn't get counted next time when it comes to counting the frequency. Okay. Okay. So let's move on to the next step. We are over here after three, we want zero. We are requesting for zero page. Zero page is already there in the memory. So it is not a page fault. I'm going to write two zero three as it is, but we have to also increment the counter for zero. The count currently or frequency is two. It has to be made three moving ahead. Page four is requested. Page four is not there in memory, right? So we have to remove one page. We have to take a look at page two, page zero and page three. Now, when we compare, we know that the frequency of page zero is three. So obviously we are not going to replace page zero. It has the highest frequency out of two and three. You can clearly see if you see from the left to right using the FIFO rule, two came in before three. So two has to be removed, right? So we will remove two now. I'll mark a cross on two. We have to remove two instead of two. We will load four. Three will be as it is. Frequency of four will be incremented to one. Frequency of two will be reset because two is just removed and rest things become as it is. Okay. Moving forward again, page two is requested. So we just removed page two over here and replaced it with four. But again, page two is requested. 
So we have to remove one more page now again to get back page two inside. So again, now we have to compare the frequencies of page four, zero and three. If you see page zero has the highest frequency of three. So we are not going to remove that. So zero is going to be as it is. If you compare four and three, each of their frequency is one, but four just came in. And if you apply the rule of FIFO, if you see from left to right, three came in first. So we have to remove three, right? So we're going to replace three with two. Three's frequency is reset. Two's frequency is incremented by one. We're going to make an X over three so that it does not get counted again. And four is going to be as it is over here. Okay, moving to the next step. Page three is requested. Page three is not there in all the pages. So we have to remove one page because all the page slots are full. Again, we have to compare the frequency of page four, zero and two. We are not going to be removing zero because by now you must have understood that zero has the highest frequency of three. We have to compare four and two. Four and two has frequencies one and one. So that page has to be removed that came in first between two and four, right? So between two and four, you can see four came first, right? Because if you see in this way, four came before two, right? So we have to remove four. Removing four over here and replacing it with three. Two remains as it is. The values are also reset of three and four. So the frequency value of four is reset to zero. Frequency value of three is incremented by one. And we move forward. Here you can see that zero is requested and zero is already there in the page slots. So this is not a page fault. By the way, all these things or all these three iterations were page faults because we had to replace pages. This iteration is not going to be a page fault. Zero is requested and zero is already there. So I'm going to write three zero two. Increment the frequency of page zero by one. So it was three. Now it become four. In this step, three is requested. Three is already there. So three zero two. Increment the frequency of three by one. So one becomes two. In the last step, two is requested. Two is also there. So again, three zero two. Increment the frequency of page two by one. That is count. Now it becomes two and these two are also not page fault. Okay, so this was the complete numerical using the LFU page replacement algorithm. And we took the help of the frequencies of individual pages. And depending upon these frequencies, we only remove those pages or only replace those pages whose frequency is lowest. And when the frequency of two pages are equal, then we apply the FIFO rule. That is we replace that page that came in first. Okay, so when we calculate the number of page faults, we have eight page faults, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to write eight over here. Now, when you calculate the page fault probability, you have to calculate the number of page faults divided by the total steps. So let's count the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So eight by 13. Now the probability will be 0 0.61. Similarly, when you calculate page fault percentage, you just have to multiply this page fault probability by 100 or the formula would be number of page faults that is 8 upon total iterations that is total steps that is 13 into 100, which ultimately will give you 61%. Okay. Okay. So this was the least frequently used page fault algorithm. I hope you've understood the entire working and we also solved a practical numerical using the LFU algorithm. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do share it with your friends. Let me know in the comments how this video was and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.